We're taking you along as we explore one of the most vibrant and unique cities in all of England, Brighton. It's a popular destination known for its stunning seafronts, lively culture, and iconic pier. It seems to differ from everywhere else that we've been in England, and it really seems to offer something for everyone. So let's go explore. <laughs> We're starting our day off right here at the Flower Pot Bakery. It seems like pretty much every travel guide, uh, in any video that we've watched, a lot of people come here. It seems to be a very popular place. And uh, Jeremy waited in quite a line to order some food. So I'm excited to try it. And unfortunately, we have gotten a late start to our day, so we couldn't have any kind of breakfasty items. Um, although this won't be our first time having a sausage roll for breakfast. This is a jalapeno and cheddar sausage roll. Looks pretty good, like the cheese on top. Also not particularly breakfasty, but looked really good was this brownie with the pretzel on it. And the girl that rang me up said it's amazing, so figured we gotta get it. I have missed a good sausage roll, so I'm excited. The sausage is nice. The pastry is a little thinner than I feel like we've had in other ones, but that's really good, I like it. That is one of my favorite sausage rolls that I think we've had, but it's also been a while since I've had one. But I love that it has just a little bit of kick to it. It's not too spicy though. It's really pleasant. Mm. That's up Kara's alley, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so perfect. That is heavenly. I love that it's got like a little bit of like a crustiness almost, but the inside is so, I don't know, just like good and fudgy. It's like a lovely brownie. Very rich and chocolatey. It's got a little bit of salt to it that balances out the sweet. That's very good. It is so rich and the inside, the consistency is really almost like a truffle. It is, it is lovely. It's one of the best brownies I've ever had. I also got a latte, which is uh, I think hand roasted by their sister company, The Milk Shed and I'm excited because I haven't had good coffee since we've been here in the UK. And now I have. It's really nice. The seating area does have a nice view of both the West Pier and the I-360 tower. I was just telling Jeremy that everyone sitting around us had babies with them. And I said, we have a whiny baby with us. We got it covered. <laughs> That's you, you're the whiny baby. <laughs> One of the things that I have been most excited about seeing in Brighton is the West Pier here, which um, actually we'll, we'll head down to the Brighton Palace Pier in a little bit. We'll head down that way, which is the main pier now. There were actually two previous piers to that one. Um, further down on that side was the original pier um, that was on the other side of the Palace Pier. Uh, I think that one was built around in the 1820s. Uh, it is not there anymore. I think there's just pilings left. The West Pier was originally built in the 1860s and operated over a hundred years before eventually being closed in I think around 1975. And it has just been sitting here ever since. It has been badly damaged by multiple severe storms. And I think there have been two different arson attacks that have happened. I just love that there is this old pier here that is just, you know, it's, it's, it's like the, the bones of history. I think it's really cool. Although I read that uh, some people think it's an eyesore, so I'm not sure. Do you think that the West Pier is cool or do you think that it is rubbish? Let me know. And because I've been obsessed with seeing this pier in person, I felt it was appropriate to stay right across the way at the Hilton here. The Hilton Brighton Metropole is in the process of becoming a double tree. So it is under refurbishment, but we're staying in one of the refurbished rooms and it is lovely, really nice, comfortable beds, plush, but not too plush and a great, fantastic view of the West Pier. So like bucket list accomplishment. I've got a view of the, the seaside and that pier from our room. Even though we are also staying right by the Brighton i360. We, I think, have decided that I, not only I don't think it's dog friendly, but it's about 18 pounds, and I think we're just we're just gonna head on uh, other directions. Yeah, 40 pounds for us both to go. Basically, nah, I'm good. I love Brighton so far. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really pretty. It does smell a little fishy, but we're all by the restaurants. <laughs> I just love how there are all these little shops. There's this lovely walkway you can walk along. Yep. There's just, 
lot to, a see. Lot to take in, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. I think this is my favorite children's ride I've ever seen. We do not have double-decker bus rides in the United States. <laughs> Especially ones that have Bart Simpson on them. <laughs> we have a special place picked out for lunch, but man, it smells really good along the beach here. Especially all these donut shops we keep passing. I think this place is sensory overload for Carly too. <laughs> She's like, what is going on? <laughs> The Brighton Palace Pier was the third pier to open here in Brighton, and I think it essentially replaced the first pier. Uh, it opened in 1899, and I read that both Stan Laurel and Charlie Chaplin performed at this pier before they later moved to Hollywood. So it's got an interesting history. It's not pet friendly, but I'm gonna go just walk around and check it out for a little bit. The Palace of Fun will count me in. Strictly disco, I love it. Oh man, I wanna win one of those. These are some of the coolest pinball machines I've ever seen. I love that there's both a Rush and a Dr. No one. What a view from here, including of the West Pier out there. This is quite a long pier. It's a pretty good walk to get out to the end here. Not only is that one intense looking slide, but apparently on a clear day, you can see the Isle of Skye from there. Oh man, this place looks awesome. I'm really sad that Jeremy and I can't ride this ride right now. Frankenstein broke his hand, it's in a cast. Yep, looks pretty cool. These are some legit looking bumper cars. A dolphin derby, sign me up. Multiple coasters and a log flume ride. This actually has some pretty decent little rides at it. We've seen the i360, but have you seen the i220? I was amazed with how much there is to do there. There are all kinds of little shops, food stands, all kinds of fun and entertainment. It does seem a little bit on the touristy side, but I think it would be fun if we came back and, and uh, had some fun in that arcade and maybe the haunted house. You didn't tell me there was a haunted house. It's actually a haunted ride. It's one of those Ooh. little dark rides. Our own little haunted mansion or terror ride here. It was a haunted hotel. Oh. <laughs> we could visit the sea life over here, which if I'm believing the sign on the boardwalk is the oldest aquarium in the world. Interesting that Sea Life bought it. Now that's a bodysuit if I've ever seen one. Oh, all the cat things here. It might not be the warmest day here in Brighton, but that's not gonna stop us from having some ice cream. We came to this lovely place called the Brass Monkey Ice Cream. I got a honey lavender ice cream, it is really nice. Jeremy got the Hokey Pokey, which is the vanilla honeycomb ice cream. I guess it's our most popular, and I can see why. It is phenomenal, like lovely, amazing ice cream. Mine's good too, though. <laughs> We've been wandering the lanes, which are these little narrow pedestrian streets full of eclectic shops and eateries. And I just love it. There's so many, you know, local establishments and just cool finds. We've, sat, we've seen a lot of really cool shops here. Brighton has a good vibe and I think the lanes is part of it. I feel like it almost reminds me of like Diagon Alley here. That's kind of, yeah. <laughs> Maybe a less shambly shambles? Yeah. I see it. The Shambles in York is a very like small, just little strip of street. Whereas the lanes, there's there's a lot of them around. They're all interconnecting and intertwined, and it's it's cool here. It's really cool. It's as cool as the Shambles, at least. <laughs> yeah, it's a Ziggy Starduck. That is the best. The Royal Pavilion, or Brighton Pavilion as it's also known, was built as a seaside resort for George the Prince of Wales, who later became King George IV. Construction began in 1787, but I guess it took three stages to complete. 
The inside is supposed to be spectacular to tour. Uh, the outside gardens are a lovely place for us to just chill out and have a peaceful time with our pup. On our way into town, we ran into someone that watches our channel and they told us we have to come here to Burger Brothers, that it's the best burger in the UK. They also have a sign that says that, so we gotta go try it. They've won a lot of awards. They got them all in the window. What are we working with here? The Benetton burger, a Stilton portobello mushroom, chorizo, caramelized onion, balsamic glaze, and I got a spicy sauce on it. How are you gonna tackle that? <laughs> Carefully, I guess. That burger has so much flavor, and that spice, spicy sauce is pretty spicy. But everything goes together really well. The patty's nice, the burger seems like really high quality. That's really good. I got the Hello Me, which is a, a halloumi burger that has peppers and caramelized onions, creamy Cajun sauce. It's got the nines. And because I don't really like mushrooms, he gave me extra cheese instead of mushrooms, so it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, so mine doesn't actually have a uh, burger patty. Mine just has salami cheese as the, the main meaty part, but it's cheese, which makes it extra good, right? That's amazing. So good. That was fantastic. It was probably the best burger I have had in the UK. Though we haven't had a ton yet, it was awesome. There was a lot of different flavors going on. Things that I wouldn't have necessarily picked myself, but went together amazingly. I would totally eat there again. You know, a lot of you guys tell us places, give us recommendations, and we try to keep track of them. Meeting somebody in person and saying, you have to go there. We were like, okay. And I think that might be the way to go. If you see us, say hi, and come, come with a recommendation. <laughs> One of my favorite British things, a seagull on the head of a statue. We looped back around to the front of the Royal Pavilion. It's kind of impressive uh, how massive this place is to be a seaside retreat. But when we were talking to the gentleman that was working at the Burger Brothers, he said that Brighton was basically a seaside retreat for royals and that when the West Pier, the, the pier that we have a view of that doesn't really exist anymore, that when that opened, it was actually basically for royals. It was members only, as well as the hotels down there. So um, it, it is interesting, I didn't know that. Now that the sun is setting this way, I just noticed that there is a big mural of people in some beach chairs right next to the intense looking slide. Oh, it's the back of the haunted house. We've made it back down to the seafront. It has just been a beautiful day here. It just could not have asked for better weather. Well, maybe a little bit warmer, but lovely weather today. Yeah, it has been a good day. Like I said, a little windy, a little cold, but for being in April, beautiful. And yeah, I'm a little tired, so I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go. I really, really have enjoyed Brighton. I love that it's, you know, it's, it's kind of touristy. It's got some very touristy spots, but I also think that it's got like some hip, cool, like alternative culture. Like the style here almost reminds me of Camden in London. I just think that's like this kind of mix of uh, tourism and like the cool vibe of the locals. I would love to come back and explore more of it. If you have any suggestions for anything we missed, definitely leave a comment and let us know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to our patrons for supporting our channel. We will see you soon. We're picking up a car tomorrow. We're gonna take a road trip, so that'll be fun. We'll see you then.